MailerLite tutorial, how to use MailerLite for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can get started with MailerLite. MailerLite is a tool that enables you to create email marketing emails, automations, as well as landing pages, create pop-up forms, and much more. So let's get started. Now, one thing to note about MailerLite is that you can get started for free and you have two different types of subscriptions that you can choose from, either a transactional email and SMS service or a full-on marketing package. And depending on the number of subscribers you have, your plan will vary. So starting at their free plan, you can send emails to upwards of 1,000 subscribers and you have one user limit, you can create 10 landing pages for free, as well as create free pop-ups and forms. And then as you go, you have different number of subscribers and you have different billing for those number of subscribers. Now, let's get started with MailerLite. To get started, simply click on sign up on the top right. And once you click on sign up on the top right, you can go on ahead and add the name of your company. Let's say for us, it's called Emelyn. And then we're going to enter our name, our email address, and a password for our MailerLite account. Once we do that, we can click on create my account. You can also sign up with Google or Microsoft if you want. So once we've done that, we have to verify our email address to be able to fully access all of the features on MailerLite. So I'm going to verify my email address over here. And once you've done that, you can go on ahead and complete your profile information and migrate to the MailerLite account. So if you want, you can go on ahead and complete your profile with more info, but you can just begin as it is. Now on the left, you have a panel and in this panel, you will find your dashboard. Then you have any of your campaigns. So any of your email campaigns, then you have subscribers, forms, sites, automations, and then your account settings. So we are going to go on ahead and complete our basic info. So the first name and the last name, and then our industry, which is going to be retail. And then below that, we are interested in campaigns, forms, and then I'll click on next step over here. Once we do that, we have to go on ahead and you have your anti-spam policy as well as your updates and features. So we're going to enter our address over here. And after that, I'll click on confirm. Once we've clicked on confirm, we can get started with sending out emails or building our email campaigns on MailerLite. So to get started, you can go on ahead and click on campaigns on the left and click on create to build your first campaign. In the same way, if you already have a customer base or a audience or you have all of your potential leads gathered together, you want to go into subscribers first and then click on add subscriber on the top right. Once you click on add subscriber, you can import from a CSV or TXT file. You can copy and paste from Excel as well. Then you also have the option to import from MailChimp or add a singular subscriber. So I'll add myself as an example to show you guys. And then after that, I can click on show more fields and add more information about the subscriber, such as their phone number, company, city, as well as their zip code. And we can create groups as well. Now, within email marketing, there are two basic terminologies you need to understand. So if you go into subscribers over here, you will see certain panels. In this panel, you will see segmentation as well as grouping. Now, segmentation is going to be based upon a particular behavior. And then grouping is a stagnant list. So if you add customers to a group called um, female customers, then that would just be a list. And then if you have new female customers, you would have to add them manually. Whereas segmentation is based upon a particular behavior. For example, I can build a segment of VIP customers. And for that, I can choose a particular behavior that they need to exhibit. So let's say their email equals $100 spent. And then I can click on save changes. And then I'm sending out emails that they are spending over $100 on my website. That means that they might be included in the, uh, they will be included in the segment of VIP customers. So in this way, you can build customer bases and, you know, clear up the customer segmentation. Now, moving on to the next step, before you can start your email marketing campaigns, you have to collect email addresses. So for that, you have to build a form. And to do that, you can click on forms on the left and click on create. Now, once you do that, we are going to name our form register now. 
and you can choose the type of form you want. So if you want to create a pop-up form, a embedded form, a promotional form, let's say I want to create an embedded form and I'll click on save and continue. Then I can click a particular subscriber group. So I'll just click on create and then click on continue. And now after that, I can go on ahead and choose how I want to structure my form. So whenever someone registers with this form, they would be added to the subscriber group called A. So you will see on the left, we have the preview of our form, which says newsletter. Now I will customize this by clicking on the preview. On the right side, the content info will show up. So register to our newsletter. And then we have, you know, some basic text. We can add more text. We can add hyperlinks and much more, but I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'll change the background color and we can even upload images, but I'm just going to convert it into a, you know, light pink color. I'll just go on ahead, select that. I'll go for a dusty pink like this. And then after that, we have the form background, which I am going to convert into a dark shade and then we have the heading style and the font colors which i'm going to convert to white over here and you can just go into this color picker and select the colorings you want and you also have these settings on the right so you can add a privacy policy statement a confirmation checkbox a hidden segmentation field a marketing permission field interest groups custom success page and captchas once you do that you can click on done editing on the top right and once you do your form will be created and you can go on ahead and start embedding this form. So you have a HTML code, show one click event, and a JavaScript snippet. And you can just copy this HTML code and insert this into basically any website builder. Now, we have created a registration form. We have segmented our subscribers. Now it's time to do our final step, which is sending out emails. So to send out emails, click on campaigns on the top left and then click on create. Once you do that, you have five basic types of campaigns. A regular campaign, AB campaign, RSSS campaign, auto recent campaign, as well as a multivariate campaign. AB testing, everyone knows what a regular campaign entails. AB testing is when you take one email and you only change one variable in that email. Let's say I change only the subject line of those two emails. And then on one group, I send, you know, on one group, I send the subject line is, hey, welcome. The other group, I will send, welcome to Durden. Now, Although the rest of the email is same, I can see the performance of a different subject line to see which performs better. And then to the rest of the masses, I can send out the one email that performed better. Then you have the RSS campaign in which it basically derives info from your blogs and then sends it out. You also have auto resends, you know, sending re-emails to people that are not opening your emails. And then a multivariate email, which can help you in building, you know, a advanced version of A-B testing. But we're going to go into our basic email and start adding our campaign name. So this is going to be our welcome campaign. And this will be welcome to Emmeline. And then the sender is going to be Emmeline. And then I'm going to use my email address to the reply to as the reply to address. And then we have the pre header. So let's say this is going to be thanks for signing up like this. And then we have the recipient. So all active subscribers should be our recipients and I'll click on select. And then after that, I can go on ahead and click on next and then start building my content. So you have a drag and drop editor, a text editor, and a HTML one. But we're going to use the drag and drop editor, which is, you know, one of the most frequently used editors. And we're just going to open that up and select the content as we go. So from the left, you can add different types of panels, elements, and sections. And on the right, it enables you to edit those sections. If I click on this image over here. I can click on browse on the right and select my own image. I can remove this image by hovering my mouse and then clicking on the trash icon. And I can just customize the overall appearance of this email. Once you're satisfied with your email appearance, you can click on save on the bottom right, click on done editing, and then send out your email campaign using MailerLite. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to better understand how you can build your emails with MailerLite. Keep in mind that your emails need to be compliant with certain rules and regulations because if they are not, you will be flagged and banned from these email marketing tools because the rules on email marketing are getting stricter than ever. So make sure that you are only sending out these emails to people that have actually signed up and provided their information to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.